that this hey is folks uh, this lesson is graphing exponential um, growth function so you'll here. hear my kids in the background taking a the next group thing quiz is to say hi everybody so this is their zero. lesson tomorrow they're uh, well, right again, now taking a group trivial. so here's our question happens. How is the graph of, of g of x uh, equals a times and, b well, to the x minus h power plus k uh, related to the graph of f of x equals b to the x power? Okay. So notice it's so, very important to Let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to do some uh, review. We did this in I am 1, I am 2. So this is kind of a review. You probably forgot how to do this. Here, here we go. That's a special case of the so let's graph each exponential function. It's an exponential function because and x would now be a divergent position right here. Okay, okay that's why it's exponential. But so after, with that uh, to the uh, end after there, graphing, this identify, is a and, uh, and identify A finished. and B. So, so here's a basic A and example. B are these numbers. Um, Let's go back to this right here. I'm A is uh, of these, but uh, this I think number right here. So the A on that one is 1, and B is uh, that uh, 2. So. So this is 1 times 2 to the x right there. Okay, so let's make a table of values to graph these. So let's plug in negative 1. So negative 1 goes right here. Remember, 2 to the negative 1 power is 1 over 2 to the positive 1 power, which is 1 half, which is 0.5. Okay, let's plug in 0 now. 2 to the 0 is 1. Anything to the 0 equals 1. So we're going to be graphing these two points shortly. Okay, and then uh, 2 to the 1 power is 2, 2 to the 2 power is 4. So let's go ahead and graph the ordered pairs and connect them with a smooth curve. So I'll go to the left 1, up a half. Okay, I'll go over 0, up 1, and then I'll go over 1, up 2, and then over 2, up 4. Okay, so there's those points right there, so I connect them with a smooth curve. All right, so it did say, um, uh, talk about A and B and the end behavior, okay? So it's in the form of 1 times 2 to the x, so A is that 1, B is that uh, 2 right there, and the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, that y equals 1, or 0, 1, right there, okay? So it's always where x equals 0 is where your y-intercept is, and the end behavior. So the end behavior is, remember, how much does it go to the left? This graph goes to the left forever. How much does it go to the right? This graph goes to the right forever. So my end behavior is, is um, as x goes to negative infinity, what's this graph going down to? It's going down to this line right here, y equals 0. It'll never touch 0. This is called an asymptote, OK? So we talked about that before, OK? Um, and then if we went, uh, did the other way, so as x goes to positive infinity, Infinity, so I, that's what this is right here. Is as x goes to positive infinity, and it's written like this: as x goes to infinity, the graph goes up, goes up and up and up. So y goes to infinity, okay? And when we go to the left, this graph um, uh, flares down to y equals zero. So y goes to zero right here. Okay, your domain. If it's asked for your domain, your domain is left and right, all real numbers. Your range is up and down. It goes up forever, but it goes down to zero. So it would be y is greater than zero if it asks. Okay, here's another one. So let's go ahead and make a table. Okay, so when we plug in negative 1, so 4 to the negative 1 is 1 over 4 to the positive 1. So 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths. So for graphing purposes, is uh, uh, negative 0.75. Okay, plug in 0, we get 3. Plug in 1, 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 16 is 48. Okay, so check out this graph. This graph is going by 1s on the x-axis. It's going by 7.5s on the y-axis. The reason so we can get this 48 right there, okay? You'll be given a graph next to your homework as you're graphing that. So, Okay, so let's go to the left one, up 0.75. Well, if that's 7.5, then... 0.75 is going to be like right there, over 0, up 3, so it's almost half of 7.5, over 1, up 12, so right about there, and over 2, up 48, so that's going to be way up there, okay? All right, so somebody just emailed me about Mr. Math Blog, so I don't know what that was. So anyway, so there's the graph right there, and these graph makes J curves like that. Sometimes they go upside down. Let's try one of those, okay? So anyway, Anyways, A is uh, that 3, there's B, B is 4, and the y-intercept is at 0, comma 3. And then uh, describe the end behavior. Again, as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to 0, and as x goes 
this way to positive infinity, the graph goes up to infinity, okay? So that would be our end behavior. All right? Okay, so this one's going to change a little bit. So let's go ahead and graph. So when we plug in negative 1, 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3 to the positive 1. So it gives us negative 2 thirds, which is negative 0. 0.66666, so negative 0.7 rounding. So let's plug in 0. So we get negative 2. Plug in 1, we get negative 6, because 3 times the 1 is, is 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, and when we plug in 2, we get negative 18. So when we graph these points, Okay, so to the left, 1, it's going to go down 0.7, so right about there. These are going by 3's, by the way, 3, 6, 9, 12, okay. Uh, 0, 2 would be like right about there. 1, 6 would be right there, and then 2, 18 would be right there. So when you graph those points, this graph is going like that. Okay, now I can graph another one where it goes like this, okay? But there's a quick shortcut on these, you guys. There's our end behavior in A and B and the Y intercept, okay? All right, because that's what the direction said. Okay, so exponential graphs look like one of these four graphs right here. So it goes up like that, or it goes down like that, it goes like that, it goes like that. So the shortcut trick is to do this, you guys. On any exponential function, test x equals 0 and then x equals 1. And then graph those points, and then this will give you the direction that that graph is going. It's going to go in one of these directions right there. Exponential graphs. Oh, they call them J curves because this sort of looks like a J. Okay, this is a backwards J. This is an upside down J, and this one's an upside down backwards J. Exponential graphs always make those kind of graphs. Okay, so let's draw a quick graph of each. Okay, so let's just do this. So let's test x equals zero, x equals one. That's our goal. So plug in zero. So four to the zero is um, one. Two times one is two. So we'll graph zero two, and then plug in one. Four to the one is four. 2 times 4 is 8. So there's 0, 2. There's uh, 8. Remember, your exponential graph is going to go when flare down, down like that. Okay, there it is. Okay, so there's A, there's B, and um, uh, and the end behavior. Uh, I guess we didn't talk about that. But the end behavior is X goes to negative infinity, Y goes to 0. And as X goes to positive infinity, Y goes to uh, uh, positive infinity. Okay, how about this one? Okay, test X equals zero and x equals one. We just try x to show equals it zero, x equals one. So 0 0.5 to the zero is Certainly one. Negative five times one is negative five. The so there's zero, negative five. Test one. Negative 0.5 times 0.5. I'm sorry, point five point five negative five times 0.5 to the one. Well, that's 0.5, so half of negative five is negative 2.5. Can you see the graph? It's going to do something like this. And it's going to flare up there at zero. Okay, there's our graph. And A is this number, B is that number. As X goes to negative infinity, this graph goes to negative infinity. That's a good one too, huh? And then as X goes to the right, this graph goes to zero. So uh, that would be the behavior. All right, so now when we look at something here, this is our, our goal of this lesson, is they put in X minus H right here plus K. Okay, so we move the origin HK and always think opposite same. So whatever that number is take the opposite that's the same and that's going to be our okay in this video and I'm going to talk about that, series and I'm going to talk about like absolute convergence conditional convergence and, and divergence and, then go ahead and, and I'm going to do three examples one of each so um, okay, basically so the question is does the series um, a so sub n whatever it starts at to, to um, does the series converge or diverge so this is what new origin this is the question we ask when we talk about series so the results that we're going to use are basically the what we do is we take our original right, so series and put it in absolute so value. We plug in so zero, basically, two that means obviously it's going to just make so all the terms positive. We get. When we plug in one, and then we look at that one new series, two, we get and it says, six. suppose so that new series so converges. If that converges, zero, the original three. series, one, before two, we put it in absolute okay, value, this is that original origin. series also we're not, converges. We're not doing the tag okay, along so this is kind of the nice result. Much different, you guys. If the so absolute just value just to move the origin, um, version of the series converges, so does the original. And we call the series absolute. It's possible that you put the series in absolute value and dive 
on the origin. One, but if you just six. left it alone one, in the first two, place, three, it turns out that that four, series five, could have converged. So let's go ahead if that happens, two points. we call the original like series conditionally also, okay, convergent. There's the graph. And Remember, it's possible that we put an absolute new value, new it diverges. All right, um, so it's going to ask you to describe the domain and range well, also, that you guys. So your domain is it goes to the left forever, okay, it goes so to the right forever, and the range here. is it goes all the way up to y equals 1, okay? So your range is up and down movement, your domain is left and right movement. All right, when you are... Okay, so uh, in one of the class, uses of um, absolute this convergence, now, I mean, suppose your series, in the book for suppose one your series, seven. Um, uh, you know, has a bunch know, of signs and it kind of jumps around. Maybe it doesn't alternate. Just graph Maybe there's okay, a bunch of positives graphs, and negatives all over the place. The At least if you put it in absolute guys, value, right it's going to make it everything positive, and that would be useful. Hope that makes sense. I'm sorry for the Okay, so this first series.